The first of the circuits involving capacitors that we're going to consider is the integrator circuit. We're going to evaluate it or analyze it first of all in the time domain. This circuit consists of replacing the feedback resistor with a capacitor. Thus, with the non-inverting terminal grounded, we've got a virtual short here, and we can then simply write that V out as a function of time is just equal to the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time. Now, we know that the current flowing through here is I as a function of time is equal to Vn of T divided by the resistance. Knowing the current through the capacitor, since there's no current going into the inverting terminal, the current here is the same as the current through the capacitor. And knowing the current through the capacitor, we can then write that the voltage out, which is equal to the voltage across the capacitor, is then equal to 1 over C times the integral of I of T dT plus the initial voltage on the capacitor. Now replacing the current with the expression that we derived for it there, we have then that V out of T is equal to 1 over C times the integral of um, the current, which is V in of T divided by R dT plus V sub C at 0 plus. Now we can factor the R out, and we get then that the output voltage as a function of time is equal to 1 over R times C times the integral of, whoops, the integral of the input voltage as a function of time plus the initial condition. And we see that, in fact, the output is a scaled version of the integral of the input.